Hey guys, today on In The Shop, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite tools. This is going to help speed up your cooling system repairs, get all that air blood out of the system, and uh, hopefully this helps you guys out. I can't believe I didn't find this tool sooner. So what we have here is a vacuum-assisted cooling system filler. So what this does is it puts a vacuum on the entire cooling system, and it sucks out all the air, collapses all the hoses, and then once you get all the air out of the system, you can slowly open up the other valve, and it'll pull the coolant back into the system. So the benefit of this is, you know, some of those vehicles you get with the, you get a real bad air pocket in them, or um, you have a hard time getting the, the cooling system to burp afterwards, this stops all of that. It, um, it fills the cooling system completely, with no air pockets, and you can, once you're all set, you pull this off, you just top it off a little bit, and it's good to go. So to use this tool, the first thing you're going to do is get a clean bucket and fill it up with a 50-50 mixture of, you know, whatever antifreeze the vehicle calls for. In this case, we like to use the Napa Universal Extended Life. Um, and then obviously 50% coolant, 50% water, or if you buy the pre-mix, pre-diluted, you can also use that. We usually like to add three to four gallons total of the mixture into a nice clean five gallon bucket. You can do this right out of the jugs, but it does make it a lot easier if you use it out of a bucket. Once you get the bucket filled up, then you're going to take the tool, make sure both valves are closed, and install it in the radiator fill. Then you can attach it to shop air. Slowly open the valve on the same side as the shop air. Watch the gauge up until it goes into the green zone. And then I like to leave it there for a minute or two just to be sure we get all the air out. Close the valve and make sure it holds pressure. Once you see that the system is actually holding, you can put the end with the filter into the clean bucket of coolant. So you're going to want to slowly open the fill valve and let the feed line fill up completely with antifreeze. Then you can close it and reapply a vacuum to the system. Once it gets back up into that green area, you can close off the air. And then once again, slowly open the feed line. Now it's really important to make sure that your feed line stays completely submerged in the coolant because if not it'll suck up air and then you'll basically have to start all over. Just continue to let it fill all the way until there's no more vacuum in the system. Then you can close off the feed line, remove the shop air, and remove the filler from the filler neck. So once you take the tester off, there's a chance that you've got to top the coolant off a little bit after. There, there might be a little bit of space left in the bottle, but uh, for the most part, I mean, this thing will get all the air out of the system. Um, it's always good practice to make sure that the thermostat opens up, make sure the fans come on, and make sure that you don't have any air pockets. Um, the tool does a really great job of getting rid of all those, but it's, it's still a good idea to always double check your work. Um, I have the snap-on tool. You don't necessarily need to get the snap-on tool. There's a bunch of them on Amazon. Um, I'll put a couple of links in the description below so you can check them out. But this tool has really been a huge time saver. Um, I found it really useful on uh, the Chevy Cruise is a big one that you get bad air pockets in. And sometimes you almost can't even fill the cooling system without a vacuum tester. Um, a lot of the manufacturers are going to real sophisticated cooling systems, and if you don't put a vacuum on the system, there's a good chance you're going to get some air stuck in there. So 
I hope this helped you out, guys. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see. Um, stay tuned. I'm going to try to continue to do some of these short videos about highlighting some tools in the shop. And uh, have a great day, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. In the shop.